<laughs> Greetings and welcome to the Hall After Dark Year End Thank You Edition Extravaganza. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Jake at the Hall of Comics with a very full house this evening. Real quick, before we run through the whys and wherefores, I'm going to go around the room. We got John on my right. Yeah, I like hearing myself hey, twice. How's everybody been? Everybody have a good New Year. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody, and thanks Happy for tuning in. This is our big thank you edition, as in thank you to you folks for helping us make 2019 so awesome on the hall after dark. Uh, the auction's been fantastic for us in 2019, and that's <coughs> largely thanks to you. So tonight's special edition of the auction is our way of giving back to the people. To the people. So I've got John to my right, How AG. Uh, Bodega Cat is in the house flipping tiles. we got the lovely Ryan coming around at 11 o'clock, Johnny Mac on the cameras. Even Manoli is in the house Manoli. here this evening. You might be hearing from the uh, the Greek myth here tonight and uh, back to me. So let's get going. <laughs> Here's how it works. This is a Claim It Now I can auction. I tell you, like two weeks that, that you haven't been, you got it all going. It's good. Yeah, you just Pop pouring it. out Oh, it's great. I love it. Keep going. Okay, good. You're working. So anybody oh, who oh, oh. might possibly be new to this whole fiasco, just a heads up, it is a Claim It Now auction. That is to say there are fixed prices stickered on each of the items you're going to see here this evening. It is not a bidding auction, so think of it more as a buy it now, or as we say, claim it now. We're going to break up the evening into 15-minute rounds. So each round times out at 15 minutes. You can see the digital clock there. Uh, when we get back to the board, you'll see that in the red clock on the screen. There's a total of six rounds this evening. And there are 18 items in each round. So what you get by the end of the evening is 108 total items. And we hope to bring this thing in uh, just under two hours. So it's bullet point two, gonna, so that's yep. slight change, right? A little bit different tonight. Yeah, a little bit evening, a little bit different, little I should say, than the bullet points to account for the additional items we added into this special edition. So yeah, the rounds will be 15 minutes each, 18 items per round, 108 items for the whole night. We're going to reveal the <coughs> auction items one at a time with the details about each book. AG will turn the tile, you'll see the book with the price, we'll tell you all about it over the course of those 15 minutes. If you see an item that you want to claim, you can identify them by the row, A, B, or C, as well as the number that the item is in. So A1 through A6, B1 through B6, and so on. You would use the live, the comments in this live video to say, I claim C3, or whatever it may be. <laughs> we want you to do that in the comments on this live video. And the first one that Ryan sees on his screen at our end, that person will be announced as the successful claimant. John's gonna get more into that in just here in a little bit. If you are a successful claimer, please know that the deadline to pay is 6 p.m. on Wednesday. As long as you pay by that deadline, you get entered into the weekly raffle. And we got a special one tonight. Tonight's raffle prize is a CGC graded 9.8 spawn number one. So that is, uh, that is wide open. It's wild, wild west on that one. Anybody who makes a successful claim gets entered into the raffle for that prize. And we do the drawing for that raffle by about, as I like to say, dinner time on Wednesday in a live video on this very page. So stay tuned for that. That book will tie in later on tonight, too. Oh, interesting. So folks, pay attention. we got some other important differences for tonight's special edition of the auction. Please know that we are not doing the qualified subscriber discount. So if you are a subscriber here at the hall, lots of times we put an additional discount on the items for you guys. We're not doing that this evening. Likewise, there are no double haul freebie books this evening. There will be no double hauls in this edition. There's also no $5 round tonight. Oftentimes we kick things off with a $5 round, which I is a lot of fun. I thought we were thanking them, not taking Well, they're, they're going to see why. Yeah, All no, right. we are thanking right. them, but we can't, like we can't give away the farm. Them. Okay. can't give away the farm. Well, actually we do, but go ahead. Uh, yeah, that's true. The something special we are doing a little bit differently tonight we think you guys are going to really like is between some of the rounds, we're going to have some trivia questions. So these are comic and shop-related trivia questions having to do with the auction and uh, over the course of the past year in 2019 some trivia regarding that. There will be three questions and each of them is going to be multiple choice and in each case you will have a chance to win one of three graded books. And I think AG is going to show those to us right now. We're giving away a 9.8 graded CGC Walking Dead number 193 final issue of that series. 
We are also giving away a 9.8 CBCS Hall of Comics exclusive Hulk number one shop variant by Ed McGinnis. Love that one. Pretty cool. And the third graded book we're going to be giving away in our trivia questions this evening is Thank Invincible you. Iron Man number seven CGC graded 9.8 first appearance of Riri Williams. So some really awesome graded books you'll get a chance to win. Watch for those so uh, trivia be in questions. between rounds. Yeah. So usually we do the, the slides, the highlights, and things coming out and so forth. We have, you know, I'm always going to do a slide tonight. But in between some of those, we're going to give away some books. Yep. The instructions are on them all, right? The Kinda instructions are on the slides. On the slides. They are indeed. So watch right. for those slides when they come up. Don't jump the gun. Hint, hint. Watch for the slide and wait, await further instructions. There we go. Good deal. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm going to hand it over to John. Here. A lot of changes tonight. Some fun. Yeah. Should Here be good. End edition. Happy New Year, everybody. This is John. It's uh, my pleasure to be joining you again for another After Dark after a couple weeks off, so I'm pretty jacked and pumped too. So net net, I am to frame up some of the process stuff. The first to show on Ryan's screen will be announced as a successful claimant. So as Jake said, you put it in the comment section, if you want to try to claim a book, say A5. We will see the first one to Ryan's screen and we note that person as the successful claimant. You may look like you're number one on your screen or someone else may look like number one on your screen. That's on your end, it's not on ours. Ryan is as honest as the day is long. Please respect the fact that Ryan's got to announce the first one to his computer. So thank you. Something to remember that there is a 20 second lag between the time that we send this out. We send this out one time to everybody simultaneously. It all depends on how you receive it and how you process it on your end. You may f see situations where you're lagging behind. There's nothing we can do about that, folks. You need to log out and log back in. So any sort of user frustration, please, we want to make this a good time. We apologize, but the best thing with any issues with feed or lag is to, uh, to uh, log out and then log back in. Again, issues with claimants or anything like that, we'll take it off to the side. We thank you for your help with that. All grades that we're going to quote to you are our, our best estimates, and most prices are based off the Overstreet Price Guide grading system. So if you're not familiar with that, it's, this, uh, it's a grading system from 0.5 all the way to 10. We use to the best of our abilities here at the hall what we think the book is. If you ever receive a book that you're not 100% satisfied, so if we stated it was X and you got Y and you weren't, give us a jingle, we'll make it right. 100% satisfaction guarantee and return rights. Again, want to make this a positive thing. No need to be arguing on Facebook and so forth. Just let us know. If it's not right, we'll make it right. Big difference tonight is the prices that you're going to see. So on a normal night, we do claim it now. You'll get a white sticker with the price on it, and that's your chance. Tonight, because it's a thank you night, we try to aggressively price everything. So there's secondary prices. There'll be a white label price, and underneath there'll be a yellow label price. Ooh. So trying to move some books and make some people happy, some great stuff to put in your collections. Let's keep the comment section clean and appropriate and respectful at all times, all right? I love the banter back and forth, but just make sure it's, you know, it's edible for all. Don't send me any booty calls in the comments, please. At least not in the comment section. We do take them direct messages, though. With that in mind, Ryan Ford, last shot, and let's get this damn thing going. All right. I want to say thank you. <laughs> to you, Ryan. Yes. <laughs> Speak up. All right. Welcome everybody. So if it is your first time joining us for one of these auctions, um, pretty good timing on your part then uh, for this special night. No kidding. Um, so if you make a first time claim tonight, uh, we need your email address associated with your PayPal account so we can invoice you. Uh, if we can't invoice you, you don't get your books, then you're bummed out. Bummed uh, out. Yep. So if you have been with us before in these auctions, we have your email address already in their Shield database, so we are all set there. Uh, the prices that you will see tonight, uh, regardless if you are an in-shop subscriber um, or coming just to the auction, so all the prices are what will be stickered tonight, so no <laughs> further discounts. So just to reiterate that. So payment by 6 p.m. on Wednesday, so you get entry for the awesome raffle prize. And all right, let's get it done. Woo! Great job. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, a lot of fun. Nice, course of course correction there. Two minutes good. and we'll get going. <laughs> Johnny Mac, before we get going, can we get the wide scan? No. of the board before we get going, please. Oh, you said please, so yes. Thank you, buddy. Well, there's a big difference. Usually we have rows A and B, but tonight we added a row C. Expanded yep. it tonight, so it should be some fun and add some more books. That gives us 108 books in under two hours. Wow. God so willing. And my coughing aside, should be good. Happy New Year, everybody. Feel free to share this as well. Share this on your pages. We should do a share prize. Yep. But we're always giving so many prizes. We love to give prizes. So go on and share this on your feed. You, don't, you never know. It may wrangle got, up another comic fan. We got some pretty cool prizes and incentives planned for the, for the new year that we're going to introduce. So keep watching for those. I think you're going <laughs> to 
like those a lot. All right, we, what do you think, guys? Are we about ready? <coughs> what time is it? 6.44. I'm not feeling it yet. 6.45. <laughs> Talk so amongst yourselves. 15 minutes around, not 10. Hey, how about those pats? It's not. 15 minutes, not 10 tonight. Three rows of six. Yep. 18. My public, uh, my public school mass is 18 around. Pretty good. Yep, correct. Awesome. Happy New Year, everybody. Let's get it rolling. All right. Let's do it. First round, round one of six. Woo! First book tonight is going to be copy of Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 22 from 1978. This book is estimated to be in very fine, very fine plus condition. Cover by Mr. Dave Cockham, internal art by Mike Zek. This has a Moon Knight appearance in it. So a copy of Spectacular Spider-Man 22, very fine, very fine plus. It's like a striptease. We should have striptease music. Five well, bucks tonight. Thank you, Knight, here at the Hall After Dark. So five bucks for that awesome. Again, Mike Zek did the interior artwork. Dave Cockrum did the cover. Chris Davis for A1. Great book, five bucks. A1 Thank to Chris, Chris Davis. And we're off. How apropos that Mr. Davis should be the first claimer. Great Chris Davis. This is going to be a two-pack put together for you. These are copies of Dark Horse Comics Star Wars Droids, issues one and two. These are from 1995. Near Mint or Above is the estimated grade of both of these books. Both are first prints. So a 2x lot was 8 bucks. Give me the naked price. Seriously, we need some stripper music. $5. Ow! Yeah, two pack. Fantastic. I don't know about that, John. A3. A that sounds like pudgies. This is a copy of King Conan number one from 1980. This book is estimated to be in very fine, very fine plus or above condition. It actually says very fine plus condition. This is a newsstand copy. The newsstand has denoted in the lower left-hand corner. We see a barcode instead of sometimes it's a character's face or it might be a strike through or something else. But this is a newsstand edition which was available on periodicals, usually a pharmacy or something like that. I have a Steve Urquhart for A2. Tough to find. A2 to Steve Urquhart. Hey, Coming Steve. around the corner. Happy New Year, Steve. So King Conan, newsstand edition, was 15 bucks. Give it to me. Thank you, Nat. Thank you, $10. $10. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Uh, Luke Ola for A3. A3, you look at that. Thanks, Luke. <coughs> yeah, these things are priced to move tonight. I'm not playing. A4. A4 is our first set of the night. This is going to be a 4X lot from 1989. Copies of Batman. So, Batman Volume 1, issues 436, 437, 438, and 439. This story comprises Batman Year 3. So this is written by the great Mob Wolfman and has awesome George Perez covers. So this 4X lot, near meter above, estimated grades, just the Perez covers alone. Would be 30 bucks. But instead, <laughs> $20. Da -da 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 -da. $20. $20. George Perez covers alone was $20. So a great near meter above set, Batman Year 3, issues 436 to 439. Very nice. Thank you, AG. A5. Five is our first variant tonight. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 800 from 2018. Near Mint Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which features an awesome Mobius variant cover. So the great French artist Mobius provided this cover for Amazing Spider-Man number 800. Near Mint, Near Mint Plus. Eight dollars. Yeah, it's cover price. Uh, A6. A6 is a two-pack, sir. These are copies of Spawn Batman. <gasps> Batman Spawn. Both so, 2X lot. Put out in 1993, 1994. Each book is estimated to be in near mint, near mint minus or above condition. So, near mint minus would be the minimum grade of this 2X lot. Uh, Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane worked on the one on the left, which was an Image Comics release. And the one on the right was a DC, was Doug Monch and the great Klaus Jensen. So, two one-shots. Near, near mint minus 15. Oh. Chris Treadwell for A5. A5 Chris to Chris Treadwell. $15. I did not complain. Thanks, Chris. Chris. So that's row A. I feel like we'll land on a plane tonight. All right. I sucked Bring at those simulations. Thank you, AJ. Look at that. Behind the back. B1. Guy B1. gets a month off and he's behind the back lifting. <laughs> and good practice and happy. Pretty good <laughs> stuff. This is a copy of Brightest Day, issue number one from 2010. Near Mint is the estimated grade of this book, which is a 1 in 50 Avon Reese variant. So it's an Avon Reese awesome Brightest Day Aquaman variant. 25 bucks. Was. Tonight it is. 1 in 50. For 15 bucks. So 1 in 50 Brightest Day number one. Avon Reese, I love that guy. Near Mint. Me too. Jesus Marmara. 
Jesus Marimba, pretty topical one for tonight. This is a copy of New Mutants, issue one from 1983. Near Mint, Near Mint Minus is the estimated grade of this book, which it features off-white pages and is the first appearance of Kamer and the first solo ongoing for the team and the second team appearance. So there's a lot going on with that one. So first appearance of the character Karma, first solo for the team, first number one, New Mutants. It's the second appearance overall because they were in an oversized graphic novel. Yep. This is their first appearance. But New Mutants saw the trailer today. It uh, looked pretty awesome. Bob Marks for B2. He didn't even wait to see the he didn't upper. Even wait. Oh, you know, we'll show it to Bob's, yeah. What'd you get it for? Bob's Ooh, in there for 15, 15 bucks. He's All a right. Batman. Great. I'm looking forward to that movie now. Goodbye either way. Pretty psyched. B3. B3 is another variant. This is a copy of Thor, number one, from 2014. Love that this Thor. book is estimated to be in near mint or above condition. This was a variant put out from our friends over at Newbury Comics. The cover is by the awesome John Tyler Christopher, and it's the first appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. So in the book, first Jane Foster as Thor. Variant cover. Good people over at Newbury Comics. An awesome cover by John Tyler Christopher. 45 bucks. And that's a deal at 45 bucks. Not tonight. $35. First Jane Foster is Thor. Do it. B4. B4 is a copy of the Silver Surfer, issue 46 from 1991. Near Mint, Near Mint Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which was written by the fantastic Jim Stalin, and it's the first appearance of Adam Warlock in 14 years. I was so psyched about Adam Warlock, I forgot to say it has white pages. So Jim Stalin did the writing, and the... Warlock inexplic inexplicably just disappeared in the 1970s huh, and really? hadn't been back. Yeah, 14 wow, years wow. between appearances is the first time we get him back. First Adam Warlock appearance in 14 years. No, 46. Near it, near it, plus $25. Normally. Just in time to fight Thanos. 15 bucks. Just in time to kick Thanos' ass. B5. Looking good for time. This is a copy of The Aquaman, issue number one from 2011. So this new 52 book is estimated to be in very fine, very fine plus condition. This is the first appearance of The Trench, which apparently is going to be pretty heavily featured in Aquaman 2. So first Trench, Aquaman number one, just a great cover of Von Reese right there. 15 bucks? Right. 10 bucks for number one Aquaman. Wow. Such a bargain. It's a good buy. <coughs> B6. Uh, David Clank for B5. B5 uh, to David, David Clank. Great book. Yeah, David started reading the Hawkman. He's into the graphic novels. That's right. Thanks, David. Thanks, buddy. So the one that we didn't get to feature for you yet over there on the far right-hand side in the B6 lot is going to be The Amazing Spider-Man, number 318. This 2X lot. Uh, both books are near mint or above condition. So near mint and above. You get both the newsstand on the left and you get the direct edition on the right. So this 2X lot features cover and interior artwork by Todd McFarlane. Never heard of him. 318, 1989, near mint or above. Just great copies of this book. 25. Adam Cormack for B4. Cormack for B4. Hey, Adam. 20 bucks. $20. I think the new stand alone is 20 bucks. So B4 to Mr. Cormack? B4 yep. to Mr. Cormack. Happy New Year, Adam. Looking forward to talking to Adam about Saturday. Take it over here soon for a while. <laughs> Michael Thompson for B6. <coughs> B6. B6. Michael, how you doing, Michael? The one, the only Mr. Michael Thompson, winner of our Fantastic Four Omnibus uh, last episode. All right. C1. All right, last row here. How are we doing for time? We're doing good. Yeah. This is a copy of The Avengers, number 178, from I'll 1978. Mm -hmm. Near mid minus or above is the estimated grade of this book, which features an awesome Jean Buscema cover. And this is, features a solo beast story. Good old Hank McCoy taking over the 25 cent Avengers. Number 178, near mint minus or above. 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Well, John, I got an x-ray vision. I have x-rated <laughs> vision. <laughs> hey now, 10 bucks. It's a great book. C2, another classic. This is a copy of What If. This is What If the Hulk had the brain of Bruce Banner. Hmm. 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 Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Issue number two from 1977. Very fine minus or above is the estimated grade of this book. Beautiful square bound book. Classic red cover. Written by the great Roy Thomas and featuring artwork by Hulk extraordinaire artist himself, Mr. Herb Trimpey, who does the cover and interior artwork. 20 oh, bucks only. 20 bucks tonight. Tonight, who loves you, baby? 10 bucks. Just 10 have, uh, Dr. Fish for C1 and Ryan Jackson for C2. C1, C2. Ooh, Ryan Are Jackson. Down. Thanks to Dr. Fish. Happy New Year. And Ryan, thank you. 
had the pleasure of seeing Ryan in the shop a few days ago. Oh, yeah, I yeah, missed it was him. good to see him. Thanks for coming in, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. This is a copy of Detective Comics issue 440 from 1974. Very fine, very fine. Plus is the estimated grade of this book. This is a classic 100-page square bound. These are the knock. Now, now these all these direct, you know, in Walmart, they knock off these classics. This is the true Detective Comics 440, 100 page, a very fine, very fine plus. Awesome Jim Aparo cover. Um, it's got some Her uh, Jack Kirby interior artwork. What? Murphy Anderson, J um, Alex Toth, and also Walt Simonson. Nice. So this was a big, yeah, big Detective Comics 100. Square bound, awesome. 35 bucks. It has the Manhunter in there. That's why Simonson's yep. involved. 25 bucks. Chris uh -huh. Davis for C3. C3 or Chris oh Davis? My God, it's a great book. Thanks, Chris. Just three or more items left. Again, just to say, round. we love our regular subscribers, and normally they get ten percent off. But tonight, because it's, yep. we went all out on the prices here, so thanks for understanding. Copy of Incredible Hulk. So this four X lot. This is all the Todd Father, baby. Todd McFarlane. Each one features white pages. So it's issues three forty one, three forty two. 343 and 344. So an awesome Forex lot. Near mint, near mint minus or above each one of these books. And again, uh, written by Peter David. Never forget that. Todd McFarlane, art and covers. Forex lot would be 45 bucks. And that's a good deal. It's even going to be a better deal for 35 bucks. $35. Often imitated, never duplicated. C5. This is a copy of. Incredible, well, hold on. Where the hell am I going with this one? There's a copy of Incredible Hercules. See, I was there. It just didn't make sense. Incredible Hercules? But it is. Incredible Hercules, number 128 from 2009. Near Mentor Above is the estimated grade of this book, which is a uh, art app variant. So this is a variant. This is a one, Doc, Doc Avengers variant with Wolverine in this classic costume. So we got Ern, uh, Ernest Briggs for C4. Ernest Briggs, thank you. And Dr. Fish for C5. Let's just show them what it is tonight. Wow. Dr. Fish, you got it for $5. $5. So special year-end edition. Next week we get back to the regular edition. See tonight. Let's take it. This is a copy of Web of Spider-Man number one from 1985. Near Mint is the estimated grade of this book, which features the iconic Charles Vest cover. It looks like a painting. It's really cool stuff. Black suit appearance, but an awesome copy of Web of Spider-Man number one from 1985. I'd like to get $20 for that, but tonight I'm not going to, so what am I going to get for it? $15. Ben is Shane for C6. Hey, Ben. C6, Mr. Ben. Thank that you, sir. That be it for well, round one. Awesome job there, even <coughs> even with his you know, voice on the outs. All, oh, you did great, buddy. The timing is perfect. Got it. So AG AG read my mind. He's going to spread out the items in that oh, lot. So what's he, making you, what, so what's he making you something to eat? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> exactly. Don't you get in the kitchen? <laughs> All right, A4. We have a Batman Year 3 full four-issue set. You get Batman 436 through 439. Those copies are all in near mint or better condition. Tonight they can be yours for the low, low price of $20. Carrie Jansen for B1. B1. Jansen, I love that guy. B1 is going to Carrie Jansen. He's picking up that bright as day 1 in 50 Yvonne Reese variant. <laughs> near mint condition. Very nice, Carrie. So yeah, real quick, back up to the A4 spot. That's that Batman 4 issue set for a mere $20. This thing is crazy. Gorgeous George Perez covers. We've got just under two minutes left to go this round. So AG, if you don't mind shuttering those back up for me there, and we'll take a look at what's left in that spot. A6, A6 is a two issue set of, uh, you get the Spawn Batman slash Batman Spawn issues. So these were a couple of one shots that came out in 1993 and 1994. Intercompany crossover specials here where Batman Spawn teamed up, obviously. Uh, written by Frank Miller, art by Todd McFarlane in that uh, one issue. Near Mint to Near Mint minus condition. Not a bad pickup for just $15. Oh, you're going to you're gonna tempt me with nope. cashews. Go on. Uh, oh, we got a minute left. For Bob Marks for B3. Bob Marks picking up the B3, which is a gorgeous Thor variant from Newberry Comics with art by John Tyler Christopher. And with just about a minute left, we only have two items left on the board for this round. I love you guys. You're blowing holes in this board already. That's awesome. Come on, Batman. Pretty good. All right. Let's crank it then. Second chance opportunities still alive for those? Oh, now yeah. Let's change it over. There's always second chance opportunities. So that means we're going to 
roll over into the, the first trivia question of the evening. Oh, really? First trivia question of the night. And this is for our freebie. So first one to get this right. Right. Multiple choice. Now pay attention to your screen, folks. There are some instructions so follow here. Follow the rules. Follow the rules on the board, on the screen, rather. We haven't done trivia questions like this before. It's multiple choice, a little something different. We'll try it out. So the question is, is what was the first comic claimed in 2019? Our first auction last year was on January 4th, 2019. Somebody claimed this, so it was in the A1 slot. First one of the new year. If you know the answer, I would like to take a guess to win that CGC 9.8 Walking Dead book featured on your right. Call us with the answer. First correct answer to call the shop, or I should say, first person to call the shop, but the correct answer goes home with The Walking Dead, 193, CGC 9.8. Again, loaded up with comments of the answers. Everyone's yep. got a call. You got a call. You got a call. Got a read, call. Your, read your screen. You got call, a call. Call the shop. You got, to follow, you got to follow the rules. We're sitting here you like a... call us. Like a big a, red banner on the bottom, guys. Tells you what to like do. a 14-year-old girl... Don't call my waiting, cell phone. Waiting by the phone. Not my cell phone. You know, you got to work for it here. Can't just, you know, can't roll over hours. can't give it away. Ring, ring. Let's go. Ring, ring. Hello. I love you guys. Let's have ring, some ring. fun. On the radio. Ooh, hey, we go. our first Let's caller of the evening. So you know what the answer is? Let's see who Let's it make is. Sure we know the answer. <laughs> it's all right. Good, good shot. Good. Answer it. Let's, let's put it live. All right. You're on speakerphone. Who is this, please? Andrew Plant. Um, oh, Mr. Andrew Plant, thanks for calling the shop. I, I hope you have us on speed dial, sir. Of course I do, my <laughs> friend. What's up, Johnny? <laughs> so Andy, what's the answer? What's the answer? I go with A. A. So the first comic that was claimed in 2019, X-Men 266, first gambit? Not right. Sorry, Andy. Sorry, Andy, but thanks I, for playing. Better luck next you're out. time. You can't call again. Thanks, Andy. Right, Andy gotta, with a guess of X-Men 266 for gotta, his gambit. Gotta keep the, I didn't mean to hang up on Andy, but we gotta keep the phone lines clear for the next next player. Oh, Our next player is, let's take a look. Oh, it's a mystery caller. Let's see who it is. Thanks for calling. Who is this, please? <laughs> it's Adam Corvac. Hey, it's Adam Corvac. <laughs> hey. All right, Adam, what do you Did think? Did I win? What, dude, what, what do you, what's your what's answer? What's the answer? Did I win? Oh, C. C, Amazing Spider-Man 298, first Todd McFarlane. Sure. Nope, yep. sorry, wrong answer. No, ah. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, buddy. Thanks for playing. Next question. All right, two guesses. AG's got the board all set. We'll see if anyone else picks up on it. Come on. So two of them have gone. So it is not a X-Men 266. Everybody else not has a 50-50 chance. Let's, so what is it? Oh. All right. You'll never walk alone, Mr. Collins. How you doing tonight? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, awesome. What, what's uh, what's your guess? What's your uh, uh, answer? B. Answer Secret B. Secret Avengers thirty. Secret Avengers number thirty is absolutely right. John Woo! Collins. Mr. Yeah. Collins yeah. to the win. Hey, congratulations. Hey, John You'll never walk alone. <laughs> Thanks, John. All right, thank you. All right, in your box next time you come in, buddy. Thanks so much. We got more to come. So if you didn't get this one right, there's more chances. Two more coming up. Again, another thank you for a great year. We had a lot of fun last year and. People were generous and sold a lot of books, and it just keeps the shop humming. So thank you, everyone. So that's what tonight's all about. The next week, you get back to it. We get back to it. Back to it. We're good to go. Round number two. Start ready if you want. I'm ready. I'm Jack and Pump for 18 more books. Let's do it. Show it to me. First one in this round is going to be a copy of Marvel Legacy Issue 1 from 2017. Near Mint Plus Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which features a lenticular cover. Lenticlear cover, uh, is a Joe Quesada. So it's a Joe Quesada Lenticlear variant for Marvel Legacy number one. So if you move it to the left and right, you get that Lenticlear feel. <laughs> I didn't say actually do it, AG. I just give it a try. You know? Don't, 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 don't mishandle the books. Don't mishandle the books. A2. Oh, oh so no, wait a minute. Was 10 bucks. You threw me off. Tonight, only five. <laughs> wow. Five wow. bucks. I might claim that. Great book. All right, A2. A2 is a copy of the always popular Legends number no. 3 from 1987. Near Mint is the estimated grade of this book, which features white pages and the first appearance of the new Suicide Squad. So there we go. New, su new Suicide Squad back in Legends number no. 3, featuring awesome John Byrne cover, artwork, and writing as well. He did this whole series. And is that friggin' Brimstone right there? It is. Fucking Brimstone. Normally it would be 25 bucks. 
Brimstone. Uh, Luke Rea for A1. A1 to Luke Rea. Twenty dollars. First new Suicide Squad Legends number three by the great John Byrne. Thank you, Luke. <coughs> A3. Thanks, AG. Oh, wait, did, we get to the, did we get to the true price on Legends? We did. Twenty dollars. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I know. That's I, no, it's low. It's Robotussin kicking. Here we go. <laughs> Shots of Robotussin all night. Robo trip. Twice on Sunday. Let's do it. So Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, oh. Volume 1, Number 11, 1964. Very good, very good minus. So essentially a 4, 3, 5. Yep. Great representative copy of this book, Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos, Number 11. Stan Lee writing and Dick Ayers provided the art, the artwork. A true classic combo. Lee and Ayers, Number 11, 1964. Very good, very good minus. Give it to me, A.G. Was 15. Tonight it is 10. $10. Damn. Volume 1. Yikes. All right, let's do this one. A4. It's got to be a uh, 3X. Oh, 2X lot. Uh, Michael Thompson for A3. A3 to Michael Thompson. Thank you, Michael. Ten dollars. So this 2X lot features uh, reprinted copies of Amazing Fantasy number 15. Um, the two copies you see, the first one was printed in 1992. The one below it in 2009. The one on the top is a Marvel Milestone edition. So the old Silver Squared versions. And the second one to the left is going to be an Old Navy promotional copy. Somehow Old huh. Navy was handing out Amazing Fantasy 15. Weird. Hit mm. place. But so this 2X lot, people go cuckoo for, for our reprints of Amazing Fantasy. No matter what it is. It's a highly afford. collectible book. It's, it's me. I'll take the one on the left. But usually what? 20, 20, 20 bucks. bucks is cheap. 15, 15 bucks. Ooh. Old Navy promo. I'm like, what? That's a steal. It's a steal. Yep. Yeah. 50 Get bucks. Up. Get up on uh, it. Dr. Fish for A4. A4 and Dr. Fish. Dr. Fish. Why before bucks. I do. I know, Manoli was behind it. That's why he's on that side of the table. Uh, this is a 3X lot as well. Put together these awesome one-shots. So these are three separate one-shots from 1997, 1998. Name enter above is the X-Mated grade of these. This is a team-up between Wildcats and X-Men. So it was an intercompany crossover between Image and Marvel. Pretty cool stuff. So Image is Wildcats teaming up with X-Men. Um, they, titled, they subtitled these as the Dark, Golden, and Modern Age. So you get different twists on each group. Um, the first one features Adam Hughes' artwork and Garth and its writing. So a pretty cool little three-pack of one-shots. Namint or above, 20 bucks. It's a good deal for those. Was $20 tonight? <laughs> $20. I'll watch that one later and crack that one. That was awesome. 15 bucks. Hold on, I need to stop. The delay was almost like Kirk-like. We are waiting on a planet. I love you, AG. Good to have you back. Hey, I don't know if you got more, man. A3. It's a, it's a NyQuil talking. Let's kick it in. This is a copy of Conan, issue number eight, a recent release from 2019. Nearman, Nearman Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which is a conergized variant by Bill Sinkevich. So even Conan got conergized. Conergized? Conergized. Yes, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Uh, Marlon Maya for A5. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Marlon, thank you. It's a great three pack. <laughs> Andy Plant for A6. <laughs> he hasn't even seen the price yet. Thanks, Andy. You're going Andy. home with that book for oh, just $10. Yes. They skip around, too. We've got some half price. Got some fun stuff tonight. I'm pretty psyched. That was awesome. Right, coming around the corner. <laughs> I've been coughing for two weeks. That might have cleared me up that loud. Wow. Thank you. B1. <laughs> this is a two-pack. Bat the Batman Who Laughs. So issue number one, uh, released in 2019, which is actually last year now. Uh-huh. Nearman Nearman Plus is the estimated grade of each one of these books in this two-pack. Cover A features artwork Ooh. by the ever-popular Jacques, and the cover B's are by Mr. Greg Capullo. Both the first prints, both in Nearman Nearman Plus. 20 bucks, AG. I didn't know we had those lying around. That's I nice. know, you've been yeah. trying to pit them on. Ten dollars. Ten, <laughs> Ten bucks. Wow. Ten bucks. Great deal. B2. <coughs> B2 is a one-shot. This is a copy of Ma... Uh, this is a copy of Dark Horse Presents Aliens, issue number 101 from 1995. Near Mint is the estimated grade of this book, which features cover and interior artwork by the great Bernie Wrightson. Perfect. Bernie Wrightson doing Alien? What? Was $10, but tonight for you guys? Wow! <laughs> ah, that was definitely the Robitussin. Right there. B3. 
B3, a nice vintage book. Copy uh, of Chris Treadwell for B1. B1 and the Chris, Chris Treadwell. This is a copy of Marvel Presents issue number four from 1976. Very fine, very fine above. So it's probably a VFVF plus copy. Real sharp look of this book. White pages throughout, and it also has a Spider-Man <laughs> hostess ad in it. So bless you. Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is the first time Guardians of the Galaxy had their own solo title was in this run of Marvel Presents. Right? Got, uh, John Collins for B2. B2 to John Collins. And John Collins, Bernie Wrights, and doing Aliens. And Bob Marks for B3. B3, Bob, Bob Marks. Marks. What a show it. See Bob. Bob. I hope it's a big chunk oh, for Bob. Ten bucks, Bob. Bob. Yeah, baby. Off. Good call, Bob. Bob, ten bucks. That's a great call, looking Bob. B4. B4. Bob is my number one guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it. This is a copy of Justice League number one from 1987. Near Minter Above is just made a good this book, which features white pages guy, and the first appearance of Mr. Maxwell Lord. <laughs> So first, Max Lord, Justice League. I love this run. Keith Giffen. Was 20 bucks tonight? 15 15 dollars. First, Max Lord. Dr. Fish for B4. Popular, B4. popular guy now. Dr. Fish. Gotta be in the Wonder Woman movie. Busy tonight. That's the Mandalorian you're talking about. Paid by Pasquale. Pasquale Perez. This is a pretty phenomenal copy of Secret Empire, issue 8 from 2017. Nermit Nermit Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which is a... J. Scott Campbell, 1 in 50 variants. So, J. Scott Campbell, 1 in 50 Secret Empire variant. Low print run. Was $25 tonight? Uh, ben Deshane for B5. 15. 15, 15 for, for Ben. Ben. Ben, oh. ben. ben in the corner so pocket. Maybe we should yeah, have. Yeah, maybe we should have. Yeah, should have. <laughs> Wait a minute. All bets are off. All right. Hey, they're always good. This is B6. crazy. All right, this is a three pack. This is a pretty unique three pack, and let me Choose tell you why. These are copies of Quasar, issues number 13, 14, and 15. All came out in 1990. Nearmint minus or above is the estimated grade throughout. So Nearmint minus or above. Um, first early Rocket Raccoon appearance in one of these. Issue number 13 has a Jim Lee cover. Issue number 14, which is in the center, is done by Mr. Todd McFarlane. Issue number 15 is done by the great Mike McNola. Hmm. Pretty cool stuff. Nice. Quasar, yeah, it's three of a kind right there. So Jim Lee, which is a newsstand. Middle one's Todd McFarlane. The one on the right is Mike McNola. 20 bucks, it's now going to become what, AG? <laughs> that was good too. 15 bucks 15. for the three pack. $15. You know, when I, when I think you don't go on, I pull early. When I think you're going to go on, it's when you don't. It's awesome. I love I it. I can't win. Great stuff. No, you win. You're the best. I'm just having fun. See one. Let's keep me going. This is a, <laughs> this is a copy of Long Shot Issue 1 from 1986. Near Mint or Above is the estimated grade of this book, which features white pages and the first appearance of the character Longshot, Mojo World, and Mojo Verse. And it's done by the ever popular Art Adams, does the cover in interior artwork. Longshot. Was $20? Number Tonight? one. Amir. $15. 15 Yellow prices. So have Carrie Jansen for B6. B6 right. to Carrie Jackson. Jackson. Ryan Jackson for C1. Ryan, Ryan Jackson's going home. Pick up Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Jackson. Randy Watson. <laughs> Boy's good. This is a two pack we put together for you, AG, specifically for you. They are copies of New Warriors issue number one from 1990. Near mint, near mint minus or above is the estimated grade. So solid near mint minus or above. Let's go with that. Um, first and second prints. So first New Warriors solo team book. Hit the book first and second prints. Was fifteen dollars, but tonight is ten. 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 Say ten. like countless. Ten. Yes. Ten. Like ten. Ten of them. I wasn't gonna go with the southern voice, John, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> C3. C3. This is a copy of Detective oh, Comics number 467 from 1977. Near Mint Minus is the estimated grade of this book, which has white pages. has an awesome Hawkman backup story. So this is a classic Batman Detective Comics book right here, folks. 467. Although every time I Hawkman see the Batman, back Batman, I think of the Ohio State. The Ohio State. The Batman. The Batman. This one uh, has artwork by Mr. Marshall Rogers, Terry Austin, and Neil Adams. Look at that threesome, huh? Marshall Rogers, Terry Austin, and Neil Adams, please. 467. Yeah, minus. Uh, Chris Davis for C3. Chris Davis, wait. 40 bucks? He can't Tonight? even wait for the price. He's got it. Five! It's a nice book. That is a nice book. Thanks, right. Chris. I love Moving that cover. On to C4. 
We're going to blow up. C4. Yeah. <laughs> this is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 312 from 1989. Near Mint or Above is the estimated grade of this book, which features white pages, cover, and interior artwork by Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane doing Green Goblin. Yes, please. And the Hobgoblin. What is 25? To the night? 15. Damn. That's a nice copy of the book. Yeah. <coughs> but, yeah, McFarlane doing the Hobgoblin is always awesome. C5. C5 is a copy of Avengers number one from 2010, Near Mint, Near Mint Plus, the estimated grade of this book, which features a John Romita Sr. variant cover. Thank God it wasn't Junior. Right. John Romita Sr. variant cover. Ten bucks. Peel that baby off for me, AG. Show me what you got. Five dollars. Five dollars. What can I get for five dollars? Well, there it is. Avengers number one. C6. C6. You'd think we were drinking, but it's really all a damn uh, robotess. <laughs> <laughs> we're not drinking, folks. We're robo drinking. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. This is a copy of Spectacular Spot. This is one of my favorite story lots. Let me just let me get serious. Yeah, Mike Weaver for C five. C five. Mike Weaver. C five. Miss Weaver. Let's talk about Spectacular Spider Man. This four X lot issues one oh seven, one oh eight, one oh nine, and one ten. Each is estimated to be in very fine near mint or above conditions. Solid nines and above. So great looking copies of these books. These feature the storyline with the death of Gene DeWolf. It's pretty awesome. It's a great story. If you haven't read it yet, you certainly should. It also the features Sin Eater. the Sin Eater. John Kamoa for C6. C6. Was 35. John taking a hold for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Nice Thanks. going, John. Good, Good job, John. buddy. Thank Thanks you. for tuning in. Great sit. Uh, let's see. Jim Harrington for C4. C4 to the Harringtons. Thanks for tuning in. Good to see all our big supporters of the ball <coughs> on here tonight. That's what it's about. No supporters, no after dark. So we have just two minutes left in this round, which uh, works out really well because there's only two items left on the board for this round. We'll talk about those real quick here. In the A2 spot, it's Legends number three from 1987. That is, of course, the first appearance of the new Suicide Squad. Near mint condition on that $20 book. What a great pickup. John Byrne cover. Love it. Classic DC event storyline. And all the way down in the C2 spot, we still have left New Warriors. Uh, it's a first. Warriors. It's a two-issue set of number one. You get the first print and the second print. I bet you number one from, them from 1990. Near mint to near mint oh, minus yeah. condition. Just ten dollars for that two-issue set. <laughs> make awesome. make either one of those yours second prints right now. Simple low print runs. Yeah, Ben DeShane. Uh, where Marlon are you? Maya for C2. C2 Marlon. to Marlon. Well, you were baiting Ben though. I saw that. Well, I know he's a big second print guy. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, good enough. Yep. <coughs> just, just a minute left for this round. Buy it. Yeah, you better jump on that Legends. We may wrap this thing up uh, ahead of time just to stay on schedule. Oh, it's good. Keep it going. Good stuff. Great round. Thanks, Manoli, everybody. Manoli's got the uh, hook out. He says pull it. M Manoli, look at yeah, Manoli for the, no. for the peanut gallery. What are you doing with my microphone here? Play me off, Manoli. He wants <laughs> it. <laughs> no, no. Give me two seconds. I need to get a drink anyways. John's been doing a great job tonight on the timing. Drinking. Wrapping these things up all We're doing ahead a great of schedule. Job. What? Drinking. Of drinking over <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> we need to keep the uh, Jeopardy sound effect on. Uh, no, nah, we're good to go. Yeah, let's, let's, get it. let's do it. Yep. We're good. Somebody will come back that way. Let's let's go ahead. Let's wrap it up. Let's move forward. I don't know why I'm giving you the thumbs off like they don't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> no Monday night football tonight. Sucks. So we're going to shift over here and get ready for round number three. And while we do that, we got a little information to uh -oh. share with you. Told you there was an infomercial. Four different ways to shop the Hall of Comics. Four, that's it. That's it. We need more. So in case you are not familiar, there are four different ways to take advantage of some of our lovely comic books here at the Hall of Comics. And starting with lovely. the good old-fashioned physical brick-and-mortar shop that we find ourselves out here this evening in Southboro, Massachusetts. If you zoom yeah, in on there, you can yeah. see Ryan. The, if you zoom in, you, you can see me crying through one of the panes of glass inside there, <laughs> locked, locked, locked in the shop. Um, cereal. <laughs> what's that? Is that what you tell Laurie? Cereal. Crying in my That's what he goes home and tells Laurie, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Doesn't need it's milk. Yeah, exactly. Uses tears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was with you, man. This was all transportive until those guys started talking. Now it's total shit. So, uh, does, somebody, see him and all does somebody want to call in right now? Because I could use a lifeline. 
All right, and if uh, if you're not going to come to the the shop, what the hell's wrong with you? You can go <laughs> you can go online to theholofcomics.com. That's open 24/7, 365 Ryan, days a week. We should put Ryan.net. Ryan.net. <laughs> Ryan's working that site hard. There's right here, always much different inventory featured on the site than what you see here in the shop. So you like so it's ah, not the same shit you see here. Exactly. Got it. Dollar it's books. Like we sell different things. In we got different, different types of different, shit. We sell different <laughs> things in different places. I know that's a that's a unique. Uh, Shit's a euphemism, by the way. Oh, is it? Okay, good. Yeah, it wasn't literal. Then you can, if you're shit. if you're one of those crazy people that likes to go on eBay, check out the real Hall of Comics. Our our store on there is a eBay. fake one out there. There it is. Don't go to that. Go to the real Hall of Comics. We're on eBay. And coming soon, not yet available, but we're we're working the system. Is going to be comics for a buck. It's already working. Everything's six dollars on that. Side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like the Dollar General, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. How, how many how many points on the <laughs> comics of a for buck? a buck, man? We're going to launch this thing in the in yep. the coming months. It's pretty cool. Yeah, six whole six different points. take. Every book six on the site's a six dollar. Points. Oh, is that what you said? It's crazy. Right. Great see stuff. Oh, like great stuff. stuff you won't see here. Stuff you won't see in shop. Got it, man. Got to bring comics oh, to the people. That's right. People want comics. I'll give it to you. The people. The people. So that's it. Yeah. We want to. It's a great uh, trick to slide. And I got to say thanks to Craig Russo for helping us come up with that awesome. Uh, yeah, it's Craig Russo. It's gonna be a T-shirt. We got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, comics for a buck. T-shirts. Year. You'd buy them, right? Twenty twenty was still here. Well, that's true. <laughs> a lot of comic true. shops going out of business. If you're yeah. not noticing. Yep. It's all, all about the supporters. This isn't a cheap hobby, even, but we want to work for the money. And thanks to you guys, we're still standing. So, well, I'm the only one standing. That, you guys are standing. That and Manoli. Yeah, I know. I they don't say, know that, AG's, though. AG's as far as they house. know, we're all on our feet over here. So, <laughs> Yeah, trust me. They're the all AG's kicking back, all legs propped up. <laughs> Some of us don't even have pants on. It's kind of gross. I have short legs. I'm not propped up. I wouldn't say my legs propped on all day. Candidly. <laughs> Let's go. I want to All right. show it's some books. If AG's done making jokes, Thanks, hopefully AG. we're ready for round number three AG just here. did a great job. Don't do that. Oh, sorry, buddy. Let's Thanks, AG. I meant Round three. Good. Let's do it. Holy yeah. mackerel. A1. Round three, A1. Okay, this is going to be a 4X set. This is a beauty right here. These are copies of a team-up between Spawn and Wildcat. So a 4X set, 1 to 4, 1996, Nearman, Nearman, plus the estimated grade of these books. All first prints, all written by Alan Moore. So Alan Moore apparently did a team-up book between Spawn and Wildcats, and there she is. That's weird. Yeah, it's there really she good. is. John says it's really good. Fifteen bucks for all Great four. It's gonna be ten dollars. Ten dollars. Wow. Four X set, written by Alan Moore. Spawn and Wildcats. Name it, name it plus. Great stuff. Ten bucks. Let's do A A B A B. A B. No, I, think he, I think he's A B. Home. He won't be watching. I want to change it to just letters. A dose. This is a copy of my <laughs> New Mutants number 86 from 1990. Name into or above is the estimated grade of this book, which features white pages and is the first appearance of. Uh, it's a cameo of Cable. Didn't, I think didn't, it was cameo and Cable threw me off. Oh, you didn't sound sure. First appearance of Cable. It's his cameo. It's a whole it's panel the at the end. Cameo. First legit cameo. Rob Liefeld provided the art in the cover, but don't hold that against him, John. Uh, this has Todd McFarlane's cover as well. So Todd McFarlane did the cover of the first appearance of the cable. We have uh, Marlon Maya for A1. Nice. And John Kamoa for A2. Two, yeah, I haven't seen the price yet. John's going for it. John's going Let's see how good we did with this one. $20. 20 bucks. John, John had to have it. John would win it tonight. Big winner. Like scratch tickets. Yeah. Thanks, right. John. A3. Great book, though. A3 is a copy of Marvel 2 in 1 Annual Number 5 from 1980. Very fine, very fine. Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which features a team up between The Thing and The Hulk. This book has white pages and is a newsstand edition. Newsstand again, denoted on the left hand side, we get the barcode. Who's that hacker they're fighting there? Collector? Yeah. That's the one of the worst. Oh, I'm sorry, you said hacker. I thought it was named. Look at that thing. I thought I was going to say the same thing. The wind, the wind would <laughs> topple him. All right. Well, it was fifteen dollars. It was. Look at you didn't pull a muscle, Jake, did you? <laughs> Only eight dollars. Eight bucks. Lovely bubble. Two and one. Going to Chris Treadwell. <coughs> eight bucks for Chris. Great book. Square eight, bound. Eight, really nice copy. Very fine. Very fine. Plus, to Chris. Thanks, Chris. Happy New Year. A four. A four is a copy of the Spectre. Uh, actually, this is uh, Showcase Presents. Excuse me. Showcase Presents issue sixty four from nineteen sixty six. Very fine, very fine. Plus, off-white pages. Fifth appearance of the Spectre. Gardner Fox did the writing, and the great Murphy Anderson provided the art. Showcase presents 64. Very fine, very fine. Plus, love that Fifth checkerboard cover. Spectre. Jim Corrigan. I love that guy. Very cool. Was 35 bucks. Yeah, purple. Bucks tonight. 
It is only 20. 20 wow. bucks. A true Silver Age DC book. That's cool. Awesome. Let's keep going. A5. I love Jim Corgan. And, uh, yeah, Joe Barone for A4. Joe, Joe Barone. Barone. Hey, Woo! Joe. Next show. Happy New Year, buddy. This is a copy of Venom Annual Number 1 from 2018. So fairly recent release. Near Mint, Near Mint Plus. It's the 1 in 25 Ryan Gonzalez variant. This is a hot sold out book in the hot variant. Ryan Gonzalez. Always love that Venom. 1 in 25. That's cool. Was 20 bucks, but tonight? Would normally be 20 Only bucks. what I'd sell it for, essentially. But tonight's 15. That's hot. Hot sold out variant. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Last for the A slot. A slot? Six. Huh? What'd you call this it? is a copy Slot. of Avengers Infinity War issues number one and two. So this was a two pack as part of the Prelude, uh, really under ordered book and a tough to find set. Near Mint, Near Mint Plus Infinity War Prelude, two X set. Okay, Chris Treadwell for eight five. Eight five, thanks. Eight five is going to Chris Treadwell. I keep, I keep wanting to see that set. He touches it and he pulls away. Oh, you know. Make it move for you. I'm just kidding. Yeah. We're just out of step. See, you haven't been here for a month, yeah. so you know you're going right. I'm going left. You know, it's all, all right. good. We I got, love you. All right, twenty-five it. bucks. But tonight, fifteen. Very nice. Fifteen. Very nice. Let's kick it back at B one. Coming around the corner. B one. He's gonna need another month off after this one. <laughs> this is a copy of Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man Volume One, Issue Two Thirty Seven from nineteen eighty-three. Near Mint or Above is the estimated grade of this book, which features a Bob Hall. Writing in Ed Hannigan cover with that old stilt man. I love stilt man. I love the displaced I logo where they kind of yeah. kind of mess with the logo. It's awesome. What's stilt man's real name? What is stilt man's real name? I forget. Great question. Usually Ron Stilty. <laughs> <laughs> Stilty man. Stilty man. Uh, Michael Thompson for B1. B1. Michael <laughs> Thompson. I bet Michael Thompson knows I, I who it is. I bet she does. 15 bucks. I used, tonight. I used to know that. Got Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Just ten bucks. Nice book. I love the logo. Yeah, very cool. Good stuff. Love that logo. Love B2. that logo. B2 is a copy of the Black Panther issue 28 from 2007. Very fine near mint is the estimated grade of this book, which features an Art Sudium Marvel Zombies variant. Ooh, so scary. an awesome part of the Marvel Initiative book, the Black Panther number 28. Very fine near mint. Eight bucks. Yeah, no, you know what? Forget that. Let's give it away. We're going to give it five. Five bucks. Five Art Sudium Marvel Zombies variant, Black Panther, great book. B3. B3 is a pretty phenomenal copy of Uncanny X-Men number 185 from 1984, excuse me, a long time ago now. Near Mint or Above is the estimated grade of this book, which features white pages, is a newsstand edition, written by the great Chris Claremont. John Romita Jr. provides the artwork, and the cover has a uh, rogue appearance in it, and it's also, oh, this is one where Storm loses her powers and leaves. There's a lot of shit going on in this one. Ryan Jackson for B3. Ryan Jackson for B3. Newsstand, too. $15. $15. Thanks, Ryan. Rogue appearance is Storm loses her powers and then leaves. Oh, oh, she, must she must have been Before. pissed. Damn. This is a pretty phenomenal copy of Preacher issue 2 from 1995. Wow. Near Mint, Near Mint Minus is the estimated grade of this book, which features white pages. It's the first appearance of the character Arseface. Written by Garth Ennis, covered by Glenn Fabre, and interior artwork by the awesome Steve Dillon. So Great just a phenomenal piece. copy of this book, Preacher Number Two, Volume One, 65 AG. Who's he going home to for Real what? Price? 50, 50 bucks. bucks. So that's Fifty dollars. Good book. Uh, that's a good price. Preacher. So B5. Uh, Joe Barone for B4. 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 Joe Barone. Joe Barone. Great book. Thanks, Joe. Big deal. Oh. B5. B5 oh, is a copy sexy. of Guardians of the Galaxy issue 5 from 2013. Near Mint, Near Mint Plus is the estimated grade of this book, which is a 1 in 25 Milo Manera variant cover. Super hot. So hot. Angela right now. Yep. 30 bucks AG is going to go home for 